Welcome to a brief history of Simon the Sorcerer. In this video, I want to check out, of course, the history of the game and throw in some of my personal thoughts about what I consider to be one of the greatest point and click adventure games ever made. The original Simon the Sorcerer was released in 1993 then emerged from the imaginative minds of Mike Woodruff and his son Simon, who was responsible for writing the initial script. AdventureSoft, a developer and publisher from Birmingham in the UK, brought the iconic title to life, initially on MS-DOS and later adapting it to other platforms. The game's protagonist, Simon, voiced by the talented Chris Barry, deviated from traditional hero stereotypes like seen in other games. Drawing inspiration from the likes of Discworld's Rincewind, the BBC's Blackadder and of course Monkey Island's Guybrush Threepwood, Simon embodied an extremely sarcastic and relatable teenager who was transported into a fantasy world through a magical portal in his attic on a somewhat accidental quest to stop the evil wizard Calypso. The narrative wove together elements from traditional fairy tales such as Narnia, Rapunzel and even The Lord of the Rings and injected them with a healthy dose of parody and humour with pop culture references from films like Monty Python and shows such as Faulty Towers and Red Dwarf. Chris Barry's voice acting added an extra layer of charm to Simon's character contributing to the overall amusing feel of the game. The game's colourful, hand-drawn 2D graphics and point-and-click interface, of course heavily influenced by Monkey Island, defined its distinctive aesthetic and gameplay. Players navigated a fantasy-based setting whilst solving puzzles that ranged from logic-based challenges to inventory-based head scratches, showcasing the need for creative thinking. Players control Simon with the traditional point-and-click commands like Lookout, talk to and give and placing acquired items into an inventory for later use. The game emphasises conversation to gather the information and solve the puzzles and use the items effectively and more often than not though these conversations are utterly hilarious and even though you know it's the wrong choice feel the need to click them anyway just so you can hear the dialogue. Technical director and co-producer Alan Brigman, along with Woodruff, developed the AGOS 2, which is short for the Adventure Graphics Operating System, a game creation software that streamlined the development process, and despite facing the technical limitations of the time, AdventureSoft's commitment to the project resulted in an extremely memorable experience. The success of the first game led to its expansion onto various other platforms including the Amiga, the Atari ST and later CD-ROM. Today it can actually be downloaded on Apple and Android devices although I can't comment on the quality of these as I've only experienced old school versions of the game. Simon the Sorcerer not only left a solid mark on the adventure gaming landscape but also set the stage for subsequent titles in the series. This includes the direct sequel Simon the Sorcerer 2, The Lion, the Wizard and the Wardrobe, another absolutely amazing and hilarious game. The enduring legacy of Simon the Sorcerer owes much to the success of the original game, however, solidly cementing its place in the world of point and click gaming. AdventureSoft initially tried to get the rights to make their very own Discworld game and as we know they didn't manage it because that was developed by a company called Teeny Weeny Games and I'm actually really grateful they never got hold of that IP because if they had have it's likely we would never have got Simon the Sorcerer. It's easily one of my favourite point and click adventures of all time. If you've not played it guys please check it out if you're interested in diving into the genre. Please leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on Simon the Sorcerer. I'd really love to read those. And please take care of yourselves. I'll see you again next time. Take care.